Also in Greenville, police say a series of BB gun shots were fired yesterday with multiple reports of damaged buildings and cars. 7 News' Sophia Radebaugh shows us a downtown restaurant that was hit while people were inside. It was around dinner time at Two Chefs when BB gun shots were fired at this window. Behind all of this tape, there's shattered glass and then a huge hole right here. Now, there were 10 other reports of the same exact thing happening across the city of Greenville. This, this definitely was a first. Paula Catterall was eating dinner inside of Two Chefs Friday night when she heard a loud noise. At first, we thought it was just a crash that came in the kitchen because that's kind of what you would expect in a restaurant. But the loud noise wasn't what she thought it was. Someone shot the window and, you know, everybody in the restaurant and there weren't many of us, but, you know, it just went silent. You could hear a little pop and the entire window shattered. Employee at Two Chefs said it was a shock. Eventually, everyone evacuated and thankfully no one was hurt. Out of the ordinary, it's not an everyday Friday occurrence. 24 years in business, and this is the first incident um, ever of this nature. But the Greenville Police Department told 7 News two chefs was one of 11 that night. They said 10 other reports of cars and buildings being shot by a BB gun were filed across Greenville. But nothing better to do, but at the end of the day, somebody's got to pay for it, and it's not going to be them. So um, everything has consequences, and it was a choice to do this, and sometimes you make good choices, sometimes you make bad. Catterall saying this has made her more mindful about being in public. I will be hesitant to sit by the window in a restaurant. It, it's like you're, you know, a target. The Greenville Police Department says this case is still under investigation right now. They're still looking for a suspect. But if you know any information about this case, you're asked to go to law enforcement immediately. In Greenville, Sophia Radebaugh, 7 News.